With the best app in the world, logging your calories is still, unfortunately, a massive headache that takes up a lot of time and effort. There is one device that promises to measure your calories automatically by measuring glucose levels in your cells, and that's the Hilby Gobi. Unfortunately, most reviewers conclude that this technology doesn't quite work yet, but it's promising that it might be on the horizon someday. For now, sadly, a lot of professionals believe that this type of calorie measuring is just simply impossible. So, back to the problem at hand. How do you measure the calories you're eating without letting it drive you completely mad? One option is to take a more general approach. Try this. Monitor your caloric intake for a few days. Look at things you eat regularly. For instance, maybe you have the same cereal every morning or a petit croissant for lunch. If you don't, well then maybe it's time that you started. Eating consistently makes it much easier to track your calories as well as to find a routine that works for you. Now, what you're going to do is simply look for the biggest calorie culprits that you can cut out or swap. If that chocolate cereal is full of sugar, then you might just want to swap it for something a little plainer, like some oatmeal. Likewise, you can swap out your soda drink for water. This is an area where a lot of calories tend to sneak in under the radar. Of course, your dinners are going to vary, but if your breakfast and lunch are fairly consistent, then you'll know how many calories you have left to spend come the evening. This means you can simply try to avoid consuming anything that will represent a massive calorie dump. For me, it was pizza. I never realised, until I took the time to look, that the pizzas I ate often contained 500 to 700 calories. As my AMR is 2,200, that was a massive amount for me to spend on dinner. Pie and chips night was even worse. So the solution was just to cut those out, or at least to eat them less often. You know, really simple. And if I knew I was having them that night, then that was a great time to go for a six-mile run, which will burn me seven to eight hundred calories. You know, you see how this works. The point here is that it doesn't have to be precise or exact. Just measure enough to get a general idea and then afford yourself a little flexibility to try and avoid driving yourself completely insane. Another thing to consider in respect of all this is that there is no way that you can possibly learn your exact calorie intake or burn. It's just too varied. Of course, there are different numbers of calories in apples, for example. And likewise, your testosterone fluctuates every single day, which in turn has a big impact on your ability to burn calories. So don't try and track it precisely. Track it generally and aim to consume about 200 calories less than you burn, if your aim is weight loss. If you manage this, then you'll be able to consistently burn fat and even when you make a mistake, you still won't go over your calorie burn. Of course, it's also super important to be careful what you eat and to make sure that you're fueling your body with all the crucial vitamins, minerals, amino acids and other nutrients that you need. That's a topic for an entirely different video, though, and a whole subject unto itself.